Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Ravi and Mitch. You uh, called about uh, Miss Lila Largewald was murdered? Yes, sir. Why'd you do that, sir? Why? Yes, why? We made you think the, think the woman was dead. You can smell his breath. <laughs> <laughs> well, we heard them arguing, and then she was missing. We all got to talking, and it just seemed like a logical conclusion. But two seconds after I called the police, we saw her drink walking past the window. We all did. So, you know, whoops! We're just so glad she's okay. Sorry to have wasted your time, officer. But we don't know that she is okay. And I don't know what you think you saw, but Miss Lila Largewald has not been seen since she's reported missing four days ago. That's impossible. We all just saw her. Uh-huh. You know, it's a crime to call 911 with a uh, false report. Detective Thomas, maybe it wasn't a false report. 90% of the time, when a person is missing, especially a woman, it's because she's been murdered. And most of the time by somebody she knows. Is that right? Yeah, like her husband. Or a boyfriend. But mostly the husband. I mean, have you seen that guy? Yeah, he has homicidal maniac written all over his face. He does, huh? His wife's missing. He's not even upset. He got real upset when I asked about her. Ballistic! Then my wife sees him in a restaurant with another woman, hugging and holding hands. When was this? This afternoon. You know Leal's on 3rd? Yes. Thor and the Splawn were practically doing it right there in the restaurant. So that has to be the girlfriend. The one he strangled his wife over? Strangled? Who said she was strangled? Didn't you? Well, nobody. But isn't in most of those Husband as the killer type cases, aren't they, well, you know, usually strangled? I'm done here. But, but it's possible. Suppose they're having marital problems. He learns she's having an affair. They fight. He kills her. Then he stashes the body in the boyfriend's home. So when the body is discovered, the boyfriend looks guilty and is arrested for murder. Holy cow! That explains everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's a no-brainer. Especially if he's read any of your books. You are Marty Elby's the uh, mystery writer, aren't you? Yes. And doesn't that just happen to be the storyline of one of your gothic murder mysteries? What was the title? My Lady, Close Your Curtains? Oh my god, it is! Exactly! It is? Exactly? Well, yes. You didn't read my book, did you? I can't believe you never read my book. They all end the same. I read the dirty parts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving. I have a missing person's case to solve, and I've wasted enough time here with you clowns. Yeah. But... How do you explain what we saw in the window? Oh, I don't know. How about the fact that you're all drunk? We weren't drinking then. I don't really care. Maybe you saw Mr. Garswald drying his hair. What? Hair. Have you seen that guy? Does he know it's us who called? Well, yeah. Then we're not safe. In my book, the copies killer, after he murders his wife and dumps her body in the lifeboat, the... Miss Elvies, you have to stop. We don't know that she was murdered. All that we know is she's missing, and so is some of her jewelry. Pearls? Yes, pearls. How did you know? She always wore pearls. And we do know that she's had a few affairs. Uh, few? We haven't identi identified any of the men yet. None, huh? Does, uh, anybody know anything about that? It seems you all seem to know so much. Mm, no, not me. No. Uh-huh. In fact, I haven't been anywhere near that apartment <coughs> until today. Yes? I'm sorry, I had a dirty dog for lunch. <laughs> well, you all leave the detective work to us. He's going out. Uh, not that I'm looking. <laughs> Some words of advice. You drugs try to stunt like this again, and I'll rest all four of you. Got me? Uh, yes, sir. Oh, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs>
Dang it, I've got guys in the elevator. That's all we need. Mm. Oh my god, I can't believe this. What? I'm sorry, but you were so obvious about it, Midge. Does everybody know about this but me? Know what? About you sleeping with Lila? Marnie, I... Jeff, please, is it true? Did you, Robbie? Me? I never slept with Lila. Yes, you did. Yes, he did. I did not. No, he didn't. But someone in this room did. Don't look at me. <laughs> Jeff? Marnie, I'm sorry. I wanted to tell you. I just never meant to hurt you. Oh, my God. When we were separated legally. I don't care. I found out because rumors in the laundry room. And then about six months ago, I saw you come out of the large wall department. And just now you told the detective you'd never been in there before today. I just put two and two together. I can't help it. I'm an accountant. I'm good with numbers. Sorry, Marnie. Oh, this is awkward. We were separated. If I could turn back the clock, I... What? You wouldn't have me move back in? Where is she, Jeff? What are you two planning? What's really going on? Who? Me and Lila? Nothing. It's over. Believe me. I don't believe you. Oh, it's over, all right. <laughs> we were separated. You should have told me before I moved back. How long were you seeing her? It was a three-time fling. Four, if you count that thing in the laundry room. Well, that explains why she and Thor were so weird about me moving back in. So, you're such a liar! Midge, you promised. That door was locked. All right, I used a credit card, okay? What are you two doing in here? Why are you dressed like that? What's with the pearls? All right, I confess I stole them. I'm putting them back before I'm blamed for something I didn't do. Your therapist said you were over that. Over? You're a cat burglar? No, just jewelry. <laughs> Look, at least I didn't cheat on my wife. They were legally separated. Yeah, but you weren't. Why are there naked pictures of Lila in your secret underwear drawer, Robbie? I was holding that for Jeff. Get away from me, you're both pigs. I don't understand any of this. Where did Lila come from? I don't know why. No, I... Oh, God. <laughs> Thor's still here. <laughs> And he's coming! Closed is clear. Is he gone? Oh my God. I think so. She's dead. She's dead. Shut up. We know she's dead. Who hung her in the closet? I don't know. I laid her in the tub. You did what to her in the tub? <laughs> What's that? Oh, Jesus. The road. Look at the road. The girl that walked past the window. She's in the trunk. Who is she? I don't know. Well, let's open it and find out. Wait. Man, it's Thor! I thought you said he left. Ah! Oh, She's done this years ago.
look for the policeman's gun. It's gone. What was that? Uh, I'm not sure. Thank you. 